the feeling after it on the other side of it is I'm giving up on myself. Like, well, why even like start it again? Hi everyone. Welcome back to Adulting with Micah. Wow. I have not said that intro or even said that phrase for over a year. So the probably most important thing is where have I been? What have I been doing? What's going on, Micah? And so the truth of the matter is, is I have been a full-time working mom. I've been chasing my toddler. I trained for a marathon. I received my project management certification. I've been wanting to explore local areas within my community, such as going to wineries and breweries, and just really in a nutshell, living life. And as a result of that, it meant that something was going to take a pause. And what has taken a pause was this channel. And I find that all the different plates that I've been juggling, all these new responsibilities, all these new commitments, I found one plate falling, breaking, and cracking. And unfortunately, when I was thinking about what were the most important things that I needed to do, this channel kept getting deprioritized. It kept getting lower and lower on my totem pole. And unfortunately, I reached a point where I just got really tired. And as a result, I just didn't have it in me anymore to try and keep up. If something had to go, it was this channel, it was this passion project of mine. So whenever folks would ask me and approach me, hey, you haven't posted in a while. What's been going on? What's going on with your channel? Are you still creating content? I would say, yeah, I'm going to get back to it. Or, hey, yeah, you know, just life is lifing. And that became my phrase of just what was normal. And the more and more I kept saying it, at first it was like, no, this is really what's going on. Like, I'm so busy. I have all these things and these commitments. I can't possibly just take time to do something that I'm passionate about because all these other things need my time and attention. And then eventually three months goes by, six months goes by, and probably over a year goes by of me posting on this channel, creating something. And the more and more I kept saying it out loud, the more and more I honestly was becoming more ashamed of the fact that I haven't invested in myself. I haven't done something for myself that I was truly passionate about and sort of kept going because the consistency has been the key and I haven't put in that time. I have always had a difficult time in being able to manage my time, being able to set boundaries on my time, and I will give 110% to other things, other people, and slowly but surely that effort, that energy starts to slowly dwindle from myself. And when I would get asked, hey, what's going on? I would be so ashamed because I would leave feeling that I gave up on myself. Here's somebody holding me accountable and saying, hey, where did you know where did your videos go where did your reels go and i had nothing for them and that really made me sad and it made me disappointed angry sometimes not because that someone was asking but it was more i was upset with myself because here i've let life just slowly go by i'm being pulled along the way and i didn't know how to get myself out of, I would say, I had my head buried in the sand. I lost the drive and the will to wanna to like keep going and keep moving along. And I do that because the perfectionist in me is, hey, if you don't do 120% of something, then don't do it at all. And because I was getting more inconsistent with just filming and editing and, creating content for this channel, I slowly but surely got okay and complacent with just, you know, hey, it is what it is. Like, you know, I got all these other things going on. But I remember when I first started the channel, I would get so happy with like writing and scripting and just journaling my thoughts out, even getting on camera and talking just about things that were in my mind. Because, you know, I was like, even if it's not 
for everybody to understand, this might resonate with somebody. And so because of that, that became my fuel and inspiration to just keep creating content. And the further and further I got away from actually doing it, I realized my anxiety actually started to get a lot higher because I use this as my creative outlet. I didn't realize it for the year that I was starting with YouTube was that I could just finally talk and get things out because I feel like I always have a ton of things going on in my mind. But this was time for me to sit down, talk about what was going on, whether that was garden beds, home renovations, becoming a new parent, like all those things that I never really have the opportunity to sit still and express. And I just didn't have it anymore. I didn't have a way to just communicate it because I wasn't making the time for it. And not because I didn't want to, it was just because I've just been so overwhelmed with like trying to keep up with everything that absolutely, absolutely needs my attention. And I became okay with, all right, I'll just, I'll, I'll get back to it. I'll, I'll find some energy. And the truth of the matter is, is I haven't found the energy. And it wasn't until I spoke to my friend and fellow YouTube content creator, Morgan's Magical Makings, that when we would talk and when I would see her just consistently grow her channel, I was so happy for her. And at the same time, just sad that like, how have I lost my energy to do something for me? Like I have this water bottle that I carry around and there was a sticker and it says, do it for you. How have I lost the energy to do something for me? And it took me actually just needing to admit that I need help and I want to do better, but I'm not entirely sure how or where to start. And at the top of the video, I know I talked about starting a new skill, you know, getting to just do something new, do something for you. and you get really excited and then you just, you slow down and you just no longer get to stay committed. And the, the, the feeling after it on the other side of it is I'm giving up on myself. Um, you know, like, well, why even like start it again when you're just going to give up for yourself? Like all of that, like negative self-talk and you can hear the emotion in my voice where, I've wanted to do so many things with this channel and just not having the energy or the time or finding the energy or the time to do it. So me talking with Morgan was really good because, you know, she's she's doing she's doing it under her own terms. And it was a really great opportunity for me to talk to somebody who is still, you know, we're all growing our channel. We're all trying to figure this out together. We're all just normal people trying to just make it, get outside of our comfort zone to try something new. And it's hard. And so what we've been doing now as a result of just me asking for help is we're just having more content creation hour. Like I actually, if I want to get better at something, I need to dedicate time to it because I can't just show up and just be like, go. Like, no, I actually need to storyboard and script. And part of the things that I've been dealing with with the channel and what I've struggled with is that my husband, he's an amazing producer. When we first kicked off my channel, he would help me edit videos. He would help me produce the videos. But there was a piece in me that was like, this is adulting with Micah. This is my channel. And I do want to take more ownership of it. And so as a result, I wanted to produce my own videos. And so producing is such a big word, but behind the scenes, it is filming something. It is storyboarding something. It is taking all the videos you have, putting it on a timeline, cutting and editing so it matches with your script, and then making sure that you have audio and visual. And all those hours behind the scenes is the piece that I lagged. And because it is something new to me, it's been a continuous work in process. It's been an iterative process and it's been challenging. However, it's something I want to get good at because you don't get better at something unless you actually practice it. So as a result, you don't put in the work, you're not going to get a good output. 
no new videos. I want to show the more difficult side of it. And that was also something with Adulting with Micah that I wanted to showcase the good, the bad, the ugly of what it means to adult in today's society. I have footage for that's probably been recorded over a year old, whether that was us traveling with our daughter out the country for the first time, training for the marathon, um, just all these different things that that content, it deserves the light of day. What I don't want to do is give up on myself and give up on that footage because to be honest with you, when it comes to adulting, it comes in different phases, it comes in different waves, there's different things that require my focus and attention. And even if those gems and lessons learned resonate with two people, then that was the win. And so because of that, I'm gonna go back, pull those that footage from the archive and work on just getting that out. I feel like I've just been existing and I want to put a stop to that to the best of my ability. So this is me just reintroducing myself. I'm very happy that you took time to watch this video. And I look forward to just having you a part of my journey as I also figure it out, okay? Thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope that this video was helpful for you. It definitely was helpful for me to finally just take the weight of shame off my shoulders. And I appreciate you all being patient with me as I figure things out. And I hope that this could be a reminder for you to also be patient with yourself on projects and just know that this is the adulting that no one ever really talks about, but that's why I wanted to create this channel for us to just take these big complex tasks sometimes and make them bite-sized, introspective, retrospective. So if there's something that you're doing, any new hobbies or goals, I would love to know about them. So if you can drop them in the comments below and we could just hold ourselves accountable, I would really appreciate that. And I look forward to talking with you all again soon and I'll see you next time.